Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play SD Gundam G Generation of the World. In the last part we uh, well, we, we started mission B5 in which uh, Gundams were being beaten up quite a lot. That's about all that I could tell really. <laughs> Gundams were at in, in the attempt of being captured. They might actually end up being captured. Depends on us I suppose. And on the random hand of fate, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Oops, wait a minute. Uh, let's just bring Hero up a little bit more, then we can hit this guy up at long range. 100% at long range, despite him. I assume that's evading. It might be defending, I don't know. Fire the lag cannon! Lag cannon! <laughs> there we are. Okay, no, no, he was... He was defending, not evading. Otherwise that would have killed him one, in one shot. Because the, du the double O... Double O? The, uh, the wing zero is ridiculous. So, let's have a look at this advanced Jinx then. Or the Jinx 4, rather. Jinx 4, let's do this. Okay, so it is an Alors machine, or a pseudo GN drive machine, rather. If it, yeah, it is a pseudo GN drive machine. If it wasn't, then it, if it were a full GN drive machine, it would have green particles. And let's have a look at the destiny, shall we? Uh, we don't have a lot of ranged uh, options aside from the big beam. That's nice to have, but uh, um, actually no. Let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the crossbone, shall we? <laughs> the crossbone Gundam X1 full cloth. Mm. Yeah, that's a sword on a chain. This seems ridiculous. I love it. Crossbone Gundam just gets more and more ridiculously insane. And I love that fact. Okay, back on the battleship, guys. Those of you that can, at least. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll throw out the Hyzanth later to play a bit. Go, Emma, go. Be amazing. Lucky we're the last stage. Hazanth Lay 2 Ra, friend. And here comes the uh, beam. What's it? Uh, not funnels. Um, can't remember what they're called. Whatever. The things on chains. The, the, the things on, uh, on leads. Wow, that was a one-shot. I, I wasn't expecting the one-shot, I'll be honest. I was kind of hoping that you'd leave it on, on small amounts of HP so that some unit, weaker units could, could get the kill, but... Oh well. I suppose there aren't that many weak units on this on this battleship, so... That's not too much of a problem now, is it? No, 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 no supports. Wow. Jesus Christ, guys. You guys are too strong. You're too strong. Heat swords. Nice. Tell that this mech is made from a was was made from a manga, can't you? You've got a lot of uh, a lot of manga style pauses in the animation. Yeah, you, yeah, you you got a lot of uh, of manga style 
pauses in the animation so that they can show off how cool looking their mobile suit is. So, let's have a look at the Susano, shall we? Starting with its weakest attack. Go Graham, show off how ridiculously overpowered you are. <laughs> yep. That was a blade in the knee. I like it a lot. <laughs> the Susano is great. It's, really, it's very great. It's a great. It's a great mobile suit. Can't reach anything. That sucks. Oh, maybe the double X can. Yeah, double X can reach this thing. And uh, yeah, you're you're almost dead. So now let's have a look at uh, the next most powerful attack. Actually, I might be wrong, but the the standard attack that I'm going to be using most commonly because it's really cheap in energy. Bye bye. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now I'm gonna bring him back a little bit because uh, you might end up being a little bit exposed out there. That's it for this turn. Uh, you're an idiot. Why are you trying to hit? Why are you trying to hit a mobile suit with a battleship? Battleships can't hit mobile suits. Stop it. Yeah, no, sorry. Okay, okay, you can. Still. It wasn't a good shot. It wasn't a good chance, was it? And shot. Okay. We've got one turn to take this thing down to get our challenge mission active. That's pretty easy because our our battleships are on the case. We'll, we'll be on the case soon anyway. <laughs> Get out! You can't hit the double X. Sorry, you can't. G Falcon double X rather. Boom. So that was pretty easy. Wait for everything to, to come around. So now we're going to feed all three of these guys to uh, to Alleluia, I think. That hurt, hurt a little bit. Not too bad. <laughs> we got the the giant blade over here. That we can cut him in half with. There we are. When did when exactly did the GN armor did GN armor turn up again? I can't remember in in, in the show. I, mean. I can't remember. Uh, I mean, if you keep doing that, you, you are both going to die. You do that, right? Okay, you guys aren't attacking the Gundams. That's good for the Gundams. So let's have a look at the uh, beam saber attack again. I think I saw this before, but I can't remember. We ah, oh. come on, Alleluia! You can dodge better than that. I know you can. And cut. That was pretty standard beam saber attack. Come on, hurry up! Haven't seen the missile attack yet, so maybe you'll still okay. Energy, more energy, more energy, more energy. That's about it. Okay, good. Let's just uh, demolish this guy. Get him out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just gonna stay up here, away from away from danger. I think. Uh, huh. uh, yes, I can pinpoint attack, I can get the support. 
might as well do that. This guy, this, this guy's regenerated a fair chunk of his health in the last turn. That's kind of a problem. I mean, it's not that big a problem because I can take it all away pretty easily. But still, so that's four thousand, forty thousand left. Um, Exia can come up here and uh, use Transam on you. Uh, keep keep getting the uh, offensive support. We just watch this uh, Exia Transam, as it's the only Transam that we're going to be seeing outside of our own units in this map. Actually, no, this is. Why didn't Hegel? Is this an Exia before Transam? Because that's definitely. Uh, yeah, this. odd. This is this is an Exia. Th this is an Exia before Transam, which is weird because Transam was definitely unlocked at this point in the show. I don't really get it, unless this is a lot earlier than I remember. But I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm pretty sure it isn't. I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, you know, this is at the end of season one, isn't it? Ah, well, it's not too important. I just. I thought I was right. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's start blasting this thing apart, shall we? We do need to get it out of the way this turn, so... Uh, we... Mm -hmm. 17,000 left. Should be pretty easy to clear right now. But the double X might be able to do it in one hit. We'll see. Come on, blast the pieces. There we are, that's twenty thousand damage. 20,000 damage is good damage. I like it a lot. Okay, there we go. That's the uh, that's the battleship out of the way, and with it, the generation break and challenge mission. Also, a level up for the double X, which I will give it uh, energy. Yeah, sure, energy. Now, generation break. First gen break gets us. Ooh. Oh, good! A new map to, to keep, keep to keep. Uh, we got a we got a new map to uh, to take in take in, take in mind. Uh. Oh, hey, it's Mashamaya and Karasun as well. This guy's from uh, Double Zeta. It out. Don't, don't, don't get blasted. Oh god! Wow, the double zeta got blasted. How did that? That's that's odd. <laughs> oh, was that just the zeta? That might have just been the zeta, actually. Break trigger. And the secret activates, which brings in a bunch of uh, a bunch of secret units. Oh hey, it's uh, definitely not a shark, Quattro Pagina, with some Rick Diaz's, yay. Love me some Rick Diaz's. Okay then. Hang on. What is it? Uh, what's the button I need to... Oh wait, it's uh, Elma, that's it. So, Battleship is right there, which means that we would come in about here. That's pretty good, actually. And we 
we still need to deal with this with this front, which will need some intervention. In that case, uh, oops, no, 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 don't do that. In that case, uh, do you know you can, you can come up? I think. Or down, rather. Really. Mm, yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, we, we, we're gonna deal with these guys on on one front, I think. <laughs> Just do a lot three to make sure that that uh, Garrett gets another attack, another action, rather. And I can't get back. That's fine. Uh, yeah, why not, Camille? It seems appropriate, at least. <laughs> Go, Camille! There we are. Right, there goes your... Uh, that guy. Your Chiron. And a level for Camille is level 14. Great. Now, this might kill or it might not. I don't know. I can't remember. I think... I think the Kyakushiki has a, uh, a, a beam coating on it. But I don't know whether he's going to... Whether, he, whether he's going to use it. I think he countered. So, this should kill, I think. Yeah, there we are. Nice. See you, Sharp. Still can't get back to the battleship, of course. Okay, in that case, uh, yeah, we'll keep charging forward then, I guess. Yeah. Wow, survived. I'm surprised. Okay, so... So let's have a look at this attack now. Little uh, beam rifle. So it's Exia's beam rifle, but in the big, uh, in the big uh, mobile armor. Well, that's all right, I guess. Okay, so uh, we're gonna send Ali up here to. Uh, Harass these guys now. So let's see what this one's looks. This one looks like now. We got a GN cannon of some kind. No, that's that's not bad, I guess. Yeah, animations on this thing aren't that interesting. I'll be honest. I mean, they're all right, but they're not the best. They're not. They're not that interesting. Oh, I'm nearly out of energy. <laughs> well, that could be an that could be an issue. Oh well. So yeah, you got you to be able to use the uh, the wing zero. You kind of have to feed it a little bit, like at the start of each mission, because uh... oh, that's uh, attack up for hero. Oh no, yeah, you, you 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 almost have to feed it a little bit because you start just you you only start um, you start uh, you start the map just out of the uh, high tension range and that means that they uh, that your damage isn't very good once you've given once you've given uh, once you've given the uh, the pilot a, a kill or two you should be you should be uh, 
getting a significant boost in your damage output. Because it because your your tension jumps straight from low to high. Can't reach anything else. With anything else, rather. Okay. You guys are going to uh, come around a little bit, try and uh, get out of the way. Apart from uh, Hallelujah, I want to see this missile attack, because uh, we haven't seen it yet. <laughs> ah, it's this one. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There comes all the missiles. That's not too bad. I did take quite a bit of damage on the counter-attack, though. That's that's kind of a problem. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here. I will see you guys next time, because, well, uh, when we... Uh, Mainly, we uh, clear this front of the battlefield over here, and then come back down to deal with uh, Judo, with, with uh, getting Judo out of trouble. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.